All right, so this is the second part of finding profitable NFTs. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to find profitable NFTs in the secondary markets like OpenSea and Solana Art. So for starters, you're gonna to go to OpenSea.io and then you're gonna go on stats and you're gonna click rankings. So one way to do it is basically looking at projects, uh, that are fairly new that just uh, launched and the price is going up. So like if um, if I knew this launch, like, I don't know, three days ago and within the last 24 hours, um, the price is up 163 percent. Within the last seven, uh, seven days, the price is up 17, uh, 1757.41 percent. So like this project is doing really well. Um, uh, this one also uh, did well, but now it looks like it's it's down uh, somewhat from the, the initial price. But the floor price still really high, so it's 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 still great. It's a uh, uh, it's a good project, but you know we don't want to be spending a premium because um, down the line, once you do uh, once you do like ten to fifteen flips that's when you you want to get into the bigger numbers like two three ethereum but initially just start small so you you get your feet wet you make your money then you use that to make more and you can take a loss at that point which is like if you follow everything that i'm teaching you in this course you you'll be fine and you will definitely be uh definitely be able to find really good projects and uh never take a loss but you know of course, make sure you you follow the parameters that I showed you and you'll be good. Like this is another project that um, that I was in also uh, did really well. Uh, I believe um, when I sold it, it was 0 0.60. It dropped a little bit from uh, actual mint. But again, this is another project that I got in really early. I got I was on the whitelist and then I sold it and uh, Another thing though is between when, when a project first gets minted and it gets listed on a site like OpenSea, it's usually not available for you to view. So like a newer project was just going to have some kind of image here and you won't be able to see that project, see those um, images. So it's just going to be something uh, like a GIF and it's just going to be or blurred out and you won't be able to see what is what. But uh, at that point, the floor price is usually the pr most premium, the highest basically. So like uh, if if you minted something at 0 0.10 ETH and uh, now uh, the, f and the actual public sale doesn't happen for like, let's say another seven days, between those seven days, the floor price usually skyrockets because let's say if, uh, the pre-sale was for 500 people and the Discord has, uh, for the purpose of this video, 10,000 people. Now you have 9,500 people trying to buy those 500 because you don't know if you're going to get um, get one when you try to do the public sale because when the public sale happens, there's usually so many people trying to buy a project that you are possibly going to miss out on the minting because a the uh, the supply to demand is uh, usually gets really crazy on any type of decent project. So like you could be uh, trying to uh, buy the project at 0 0.10, let's say, and uh, 50 other guys at the same time are trying to buy that same project. So the same NFT and you can't, you most likely you're going to miss out. So like usually by the time that public sale happens, you, uh, the opportunity is already gone or you're going to miss out. Or even if you do manage to buy, you're paying a premium when it comes to the transaction fees, the gas fees, as they say. And, uh, something that's something I definitely like to avoid because I've seen people pay insane amount of money in gas fees and then, then they couldn't even just uh, sell that 
uh, NFT for a profit. So like it's very important to do that. So anyways, back to what I was saying is like finding profitable projects is like first you could look here. But what I personally like to do is you're going to go on OpenSea, you're going to go on stats and you're going to click on activity. So you're going to come here and you're going to start monitoring the sales that are happening right now. So these, these are real time sales. What's happening right now? Like it looks like it didn't update in the last. OK, there we go. Just updated. So you, we can see that um, this uh, a minute ago, all these sales happened a minute ago. So what I like to do is find patterns here. So what you're going to be looking out for is like sales of one project that is happening multiple times over and over again. So like, uh, let's try to find one. Uh, I don't see any right now. So what are we look what we are essentially looking for is like one project, uh, one NFT project that multiple people are buying out right now because there were times when I've seen um, NFTs that were like 0 0.30 um, here, but everyone's but something happened, some kind of PR, some kind of some influencer or something happened that resulted in everybody trying to buy it at the same time. So this is one way to always be um, on top of that. And you could just uh, so these are also these are projects that are basically um I have not been uh, revealed yet so that like that's this is what I was saying is like gifs so you're gonna see these gifs on projects that are not uh, live yet like this one possibly is uh is a gif that's that's not live yet but again back to what I was saying is like finding um, projects that are being sold back to back so uh, fat ape hot dog um, sometimes it, it can get a, a little tricky and you possibly have to sit here for hours to find a pattern because it's not like it's always there's patterns but the pattern is simple you're gonna find a project that's uh, being sold over and over and uh, and you're seeing them multiple times in a span of uh, minutes. And uh, that really shows a lot of people are buying it right now. And there, it doesn't matter what the reason is. If you want to look for it, great. But usually I don't waste my time. If I see something that's being sold like multiple times, I will go pick it up right there. But another thing you, you want to look out for is I'm going to show you that in a, in a second is... Uh, one second. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of different ones. It's like you, I'm not seeing any any being sold like back to back. That what I usually like to look out for, because that that really is foolproof and it it works most of the time. But you know, again, it's still a little risky because you are in the secondary market and anything can happen. Because in when you're buying at mint, it's really easy easy to predict what's gonna happen or where the project is gonna go uh, if you follow those parameters that I showed you before. But on the secondary market, basically what you're gonna do. So let's say, um, let's look at one. Which one do we want to look at? Hmm. One second. Zero point zero zero one. So like, see, the, these are horrible projects, 0 0.001 ETH. So these are all garbage. I wouldn't even bother looking at them, but untitled collection. Because anything decent is going to be worth something, like not 0 0.001 ETH. Um, so you, it's this is uh, time consuming. But again, if you want to come out on top, this is what you have to do. So, okay, look at let's look at this one. This one is a uh, dollar two ninety. So essentially, let's say we just came on the activity page. We just saw like fifteen people buy a visitor in the last uh, last ten minutes, and so that there's like something going on. There's a pattern there. There's some reason that all these people are buying it up. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna come on that page. You're gonna go on their collection page. And you're gonna start monitoring the floor price. 
So again, the floor price is the lowest someone is selling it for. So low to high, it's already there. You're going to set the parameters with buy now. And you can see the floor price right here is uh, the lowest you can buy it for is 0 0.063, then 0 0.0635, 0 0.065. And we have a lot for 0 0.065. So for the floor to rise above 0 0.065, a bunch of these have to get bought out. So see, uh, this is something I would avoid because um, there's the price fluctuate, the price difference is not that great. Like sometimes you will see the, uh, the lowest price being 0 0.063, let's say, and the next one is 0 0.09. I would buy that one right away because if you buy that, now you could uh, literally list it within minutes for 0 0.089, uh, one lower than the, the second guy. So now you're at the top and you just bought it for 0 0.063 and you're uh, almost uh, getting a 50% return on your money right there because if it's being sold and there's multiple people buying on, on the activity page, you can buy right there and sell it right there as well. So it's it's very uh, it's very it's it's crazy how easy it is to uh, do a quick flip. But this again, this is very time con consuming, and your profits are not gonna be that significant. Like if you wanna make um, something uh, something crazy like uh, four or five ether, or even ten ether, or like. Uh, or even 40, 50 ether, which is, which is also very realistic. And I have seen multiple projects do that. And um, the way you do that is, again, getting them at mint. M minting the projects will always ensure you make the most profit, like getting it on the uh, white, getting on the white list and getting on the pre-sale, because that's a surefire way to um, get, uh, get, in, get NFTs for really cheap, and you can sell it for a premium as long as uh, every all the parameters meet up. The projects will always, almost always, go up, and you just sell it on the secondary market. Or if they're offering some kind of good utility, you hold on to it and you just benefit off the perks. Again, so then we have Solana Art, which is also uh, uh, similar to OpenSea, but this one is more for uh, for Solana, and OpenSea mostly operates with uh, Ethereum. So with Solana, I would like to look at uh, collections, see if I see any good ones. Mm, no, there's not really. These are because these are uh, pretty old. There's a uh, uh, there's a lot of new ones that that didn't get list listed yet because it takes some time to get listed on Solana. And um, honestly. Um, Solana is really good as well, and I have seen a lot of projects do really well as well. So if you already started flipping on OpenSea or if you bought and sold NFTs on OpenSea, you definitely also want to get into Solana because uh, there's barely any transaction fees because with uh, Ethereum, there's always a transaction fee. But again, you can sell projects for very, very high. Like, uh, like I said, you could buy something for 0 0.10 and you could sell it uh, before the reveal for almost four or five ether. So it's, it's also very important that whenever you do mint, you don't try to uh, undercut, undercut the market because that's, that's a horrible way to, um, way to make money. And uh, you're essentially just not just cutting profits for yourself, you're cutting profits for everybody. So it's always important to set up premium when it comes to the floor price. And also again, so let's back, uh, let's go back to Solana. And we can see with uh, Solana, you don't have that activity chart. So with Solana, what I like to do is uh, look at the 24 hour volume. So what has the highest volumes? This one has almost 834%, 778%. So these are already so high, like I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't recommend that. I would try to go for something lower. And also very important is like to look at the price, how much are you paying? Because if you're paying a premium, 
now you are losing a lot when it comes when you're gonna lose the money but if you're not paying as much you can still come out on top as long as there's a there's a good um, uh, increase in the volume in the last 24 hours so it's all it's very important to look at the price also the floor price with the what's the cheapest is being sold for so this one you can see the average price is 1.2 and the floor price is 0 0.3 so this this is where the rarity aspect comes into play because that's also something you, you want to look at in the secondary market so let's say again let's go back to this uh actually no not this visitor because uh i really don't like that one so let's just go back to ranking let's look at uh one of these shiba guys because so right now we know the Shiba Shiba coin is doing really well. So this should be doing really well as well. 1.749, not surprised. That's almost, uh, I believe, like $8,000, which is amazing for, for this. So it's not just that, uh, you know, beautiful projects like Mechaverse do really well. Projects like these with uh, art, artwork like these do extremely well too. So like if we click buy now, the cheapest... Uh, Sorry, my bad. If you click buy now, the cheapest you can buy is 1.4749. Then you got a bunch at 175, 179. But let's look at the highest last sale, uh, which will show us the rarity factor of it, because that's also another thing that's very important. Like, look at this one. They have an Iron Man one. So let's look at this. And. Uh, they already have offers for 6,000, 6,000, 6,400, 5,500. But what you want to look at is under properties, you're going to you're going to uh, try to find uh, traits that are essentially uh, really low. So like this basically shows out of the whole collection, what percentage of uh, NFT has this certain property. So like uh, only 0.2 two percent has uh has a steel headwear so like basically this um or uh the far orange is 51 percent not not good mouth 10 percent okay so you can see like there's a few ones that are really good like the seven percent the four percent 0.2 percent um but again this one just because it's iron man that's why it's doing really well but Aside from that, let's look at a few others. So they just uh, went after the whole uh, whole superhero community from the looks of it. But let's look at this one. This one, the, so the price you see over here, 47, is the price he listed it for. That's not the actual price. So don't think that, uh, you know, this one is going to cost you 47 uh, Ethereum. It's 47 uh, Ethereum that he's trying to sell it at and let's look at the properties again uh, none VR so you see like some some of them have six percent nine percent so you want to find uh, properties that are very low like around this the more uh, low properties um, that NFT has may, makes it rare so the rarer you can get the better so when you find those patterns, like I said, like when you see, um, when you go on stats and activity. So let's say, like I said, you see uh, one uh, NFT that's being sold multiple times in a matter of minutes. What you want to do is, yes, you want to get the cheapest one that you can get at the floor price. But ideally, if you have um, something to some um some sort of base that you're where you're spending a decent amount of money on that project i would say definitely find a rarer one so the way you do that is like uh again you go back to the collection uh you go on highest last sale because usually highest last sale are are the rare ones so let's say let's go back to this one again and properties and then headwear steel so 0.2 percent so let's see how many has these one two three so uh well quite a decent amount so there's like 10 of them and you can see that um 
the floor price is just insane um this one was last sold for 50 ethereum 50 ethereum think about that and you can see that right here so six days ago this person sold it to this person for 50 ethereum which is which is insane and right now like uh the floor price seems to be uh, actually not the floor price the bids so th here you'll see the offers that um that nft has so like the someone right now is offering six thousand five hundred for this but this guy's never gonna sell he's trying to sell it for two thousand which uh which almost comes down to nine million dollars nine point one million and that's what's really happening it's uh projects are being sold for crazy amounts of money and um people are really paying for it and um like this guy paid 50 ethereum which which is also something crazy and uh the, someone else bought it like this person bought it for 50 ethereum uh so again to sum it up you go on collections um uh, I mean, you go on uh, stats and activity, and then you go on the collections, and then you find either the cheapest floor price, if you see a pattern here that it's being sold multiple times, and uh, buy the cheapest one you can get for a quick flip. But if you see like there's some kind of hype, something really big going on, I would definitely recommend finding a, uh, a NFT that's on the rarer side with, uh, with properties that are extremely rare like if i was investing in this i would definitely pick up one of these and um and just hold it because sometimes you'd be surprised uh you'd be surprised how good a project can do even if if it doesn't do it initially it will eventually do it but but you of course you have to be careful don't just buy any random projects like i said the artwork i like to personally look at like this one it's just because because of shiba coin this is not because of uh the artwork or the utility i'm sure of that but other projects that that have either of those i would definitely get into that like this one is uh they just sold it for oh we missed that one my bad but uh let me see if i can find out there we go so this one is almost at ten thousand someone just bought it for ten thousand dollars a picture of uh this just looks really cool not gonna lie but again would i buy this no definitely not too much uh too much money to risk i like to play it safe and make sure i i come out on top and so should you so you should be trying to make as much profit as possible and the best way to do it again is to find projects that are fairly new but has a lot of potential and just get in on them really, really early.